Photoshop just got a massive upgrade and Nano Banana 2 is on a whole new level. In this video, I'm going to show you the biggest improvements you can actually see, ultra realistic generative fill, sharper photo expansions, scary accurate lighting and perspective matching. Let's jump straight into the new features. Now, if you've not already seen this, by far the most impressive feature with Nano Banana Pro is the ability to add anyone into any scene just from a simple photo. So let's say for example, you wanted to add some people people in the scene. Now, as you may know before, traditionally this would take hours, lots of editing, but now you can just simply drag and drop a photo of someone, let's say Elon, and then on the other side, we're going to have Jeff. We're just going to upscale this using these two images. We're going to create a new layer above all of these. Make sure you've unlocked your layer. So click on the lock and then just simply use the brush tool and just draw yourself some arrows, just a point where you want them to be. And then from here, we're going to select a new layer, holding control, select all of your canvas, go to generative fill and type in, add the two people in the photos on the chairs. Something as simple as that. You don't have to go too complex. We're going to set it to Gemini free with Nano Banana Pro and then just click on generate. And within a matter of a few seconds, you will see some crazy magic being applied. And boom, there we go. As you can see, it has kept the images. It's a little bit buggy at the moment, but it's added Elon and Jeff right in this photo. Now this next one is also another really cool feature that I find awesome. Now in this case, we've got Fry right here from Futurama. And let's say for whatever reason, we want to turn Ryan Reynolds into Fry from Futurama. We can just simply use the brush tool. Once again, same as before, just get yourself an arrow pointing to Fry and then selecting the main canvas, making sure it's unlocked. Adding a new layer above this one, we can just click on generative fill and type in this prompt right here. So turn the photo of Ryan into Fry from Futurama. Go ahead and select Gemini free once again, and click on generate. And there we go. We now have Ryan as Fry from Futurama. This honestly looks cool. And we could just remove the other two images and there we have it. There it is. It's copied the art style. It turns out that Nano Banana is actually better than Photoshop at removing objects. Let's say that you wanted to remove this car right here. We can use either multiple different methods. We can either use the remove tool or we can just get ourselves a selection. We're just going to select all of this car and a little bit of the ground right here. We're just going to click on remove. Decent result. We can definitely be happy with that. The only problem is, is that it's closed the door and it's removed some of the original details. You can see it's just had a guess. But let me show you something really cool. So now if we select this, once again, make sure the layer is unlocked. And if we use Google's Gemini free, we could type in remove this car from the photo. So nothing crazy, a simple prompt, selecting this one and click on, on generate. This result is better and closer to the original. We have the before and after it's kept the little window and it's also kept the door open. But this one is far closer to the original. Honestly, this one is so much better. And if you have a look at the textures as well, we have some nice high quality textures, which seamlessly blend into the original. And you're probably wondering, well, have you tested it with the new beta version? And I have. In most cases, Google's Nano Banana is better at higher quality when it comes to expanding a photo. So we've got Firefly and Google. First of all, we're just going to use the standard crop in Photoshop. You can go to the crop tool and just expand this to, let's say around here, and then a little bit bigger. We're going to do it the old school way. So we're just going to first set it on a transparent without expanding it. We're going to select this photo and then going to select down to contract, set it to 50 pixels just to give us the space. And then we're just going to also 
go down to modify and set a feather of 30 pixels. And then from here, we can press Control, Shift, and I to invert the selection. And we're just going to fill this in, Let's type in this prompt right here. Once again, links down below. But this basically says to perfectly continue the coastline with Firefly Fill. Click on Generate, and let's see what this gives us. And there we go. We have three different variations. This one is decent. It's not too bad. We have this one. And then this one right here, which is getting further away from the original. So let's try this with Google and let's see how well this does it. Once again, and then same prompt as before, but this time Google Gemini, and then click on generate. And there we go. As you can see, this variation is way better. It's a lot more accurate and closer to the original. It's created the rest of the camel and it looks. Yeah, it looks great. Right here, we have a really busy background with lots of signs. We've got some cables and some people, but the main focus is the overall lighting and the really harsh shadows which are casted onto the ground. So in this case, if you were to manually do this, it would be very difficult to make it look realistic. So what we're going to do is we're just going to get ourselves a nice, quick, simple selection right here. And then we're also going to go to the first tool, and you want to type in this specific prompt. This is basically a detailed prompt, which is shortened down to creating a young male standing with a bicycle and the other specifics that I've added. We're going to set it to Nano Banana Pro and then click on generate, but we want to make sure we unlock this layer so it doesn't have any restrictions. And there we go. It's added the person. It has slightly changed or warped this photo, but other than that, we have the person and it's included the correct lighting. Let's say that you've only got a single photo from a photo shoot that is actually good, but you want to change the angles to have a different perspective. So let's say that with this photo, we want to select all of the canvas. We're just going to unlock this layer and we're going to change the camera angle from a normal flat view or a normal view up to a high 45 degree angle. And then we're going to keep everything else exactly the same. We don't want to change anything. We're going to select Gemini 3 and then click on generate. We have a nice consistent background and person. We've got a higher angle camera and he looks exactly the same. The great thing about this is you can see all of the details and let's say that we really like the style of this text. We just want to change what it says. Get ourselves the normal selection tool. We just want to change this area right here. Just subtract this bit as well. We don't want this area selected. We just want the text to be selected. And then from here, we're just going to unlock this layer. We're going to go to generative fill and we're just going to type in change the text to and then type in what you wanted to say. And in this case, we're going to type in Gaina de la Rom, but keep the color and style exactly the same, only change the text. And then once again, using Gemini 3, we're going to click on generate. It has kept everything the same. It's even included the original cracks on the wall right here. It is a little bit lower quality than before, and it has sort of smudged this area, but the more precise you are with your selection, the better this will be. Right here, we have this photo, which let's say that we wanted to turn into a poster or some sort of movie poster. Same as always, we're just going to switch the model to Google Gemini. Whoa. That is really good. It's a little bit stretched. I will say the limitation must have been hit, but whoa, this looks great. This looks amazing. The reference that I wanted was this one right here. We have a very similar theme. We have a traditional looking banner and let's say that we wanted to change it to something else. We can unlock this layer. We're going to select all of the canvas, which will give it plenty of freedom to work with. And we're just going to type in this prompt right here. We're basically going to change this text into this one right here. Once again, selecting Google Gemini, click on generate, and there we go. Boom. This looks identical to the original. It has kept the exact same style, and you can barely tell the difference between the edited and this one.